guys and welcome to my channel my name is francisca and i run this channel Siska stitches and designs where i share sewing and diy craft tutorials today's tutorial is going to be about how i made this petticoat or basket as some of you may know it as so this uh, basket or petticoat is what is used to make um flare dresses or flare skirts look at, at least a little bit puffy so the dress or skirt doesn't just lay on your body like that so i'm going to show you how i did this from start to finish it's a very very simple process because i don't have to do any too much calculation like that like that so if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please click the subscribe button and click the bell beside the subscribe button so you get notified whenever i post new videos and if you like this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can go ahead and see the process so this is my fabric i'll be using this doll face lining fabric my fabric is measuring 12.75 inches by 56 inches is on fold so that point is about 28 inches so what i'm going to do now is fold the top by one inch 1.25 inches so i have 0.25 in and I have one inch fold this is such that my elastic will be able to pass through the space the space now I'll be making so what I'm going to do is sew that point and I've done that by half an inch and I've sewn the top as well by the 1.25 inch fold and what I did was leave like a two inch space to pass my elastic through I'll be using this safety pin to do that so it's going to make um, passing your elastic through this entire length of fabric very very easy so what you can do is once you've exhausted all your elastic in make sure you pin it to the fabric so that everything does not go in and then you start the whole process again so once I'm done passing this elastic I'm going to join the pieces the ends together so that of course you need it whole and you need to stretch it in as well so I'm going to sew it by the allowance that I gave it and then if I have any excess I cut it off so that it's not very bulky what I'm going to do next is to stretch the fabric so that the elastic can go in and then what I'm going to do is to seal that two inch space that I um, had on the fabric to pass the elastic so once that is done we're going to go ahead and you know fix your net on the fabric so this is how the underskirt looks now with no net attached so i have had net pieces that i have cut already so you can actually make this you can actually make this longer or you can make it shorter so what i have here is about 10 inches and i'm going to be sewing you can do it in two or three layers so i'm going to be sewing this net on the fabric in such a way that the front side of the fabric of the net is touching the right side of the fabric so like i said i have about 28 inches at the bottom and at the top as well on fold the reason why um, I have 56 inches in total is because my hip measurement is 40 and I want to do it such a way that the um, underskirt is not tight on my body so you can add half of your hip measurement to your hip measurement. So what I have here is about 27 inches by 2 that's 54 so I'm going to add another layer again so that 54 times two that is going to give us what 108 now we are going to pleat this hard net so you need a lot like a lot so i'm going to sew the edges of these two pieces together so the other ends as well so i have like a big round uh continuous hard net um layer so what i'm going to do now is take this hard net you know i'm going to be pleating it like i said i'm going to place it on my fabric and like I said, you have to place the right side of your hard net touching the right side of your underskirt. And that's how you are going to sew because you don't want the raw edge of the hard net to show on the outside. So I hope you understand my grammar. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So you can decide to pin your pleats. Like I said, you are going to pleat this so that it comes out really, really full. And I'm not specific on the size of the pleats or the spacing between the pleats. So it's sort of like a random 
pleats that i'm doing now if you don't find it easy pleating on your fabric where you have already inserted your elastic you can pleat it when you have not inserted your elastic so what i'm going to do now is take it to my machine and then i begin to sew the pleats now i didn't pleat it all the way around because i had already put in elastic so it was kind of like um, a lot more difficult so i just i just took it to my machine and i was splitting as i was sewing as well so this one made it a lot more easier like i said you can do up to two layers you can do up to three layers of this so i did up to three layers i'm going to show you how it looked at the first layer after adding the first layer and how it looked after adding two more layers after that so so the pleat i saw the pleats randomly like i said spacing between the pleats is also random but just make sure you pleat your hard net enough to go around your underskirt so this is how the first layer looks so the raw edge of the net is inside now as you can see that's why i sewed it that way now this is how it looks when it has three more layers now you can see how full this is and this is best used in an uh, in a flare skirt an a-line skirt not a ball dress and something to bring just to bring out the fullness so i'm going to show you how it looks on a skirt that i already have how it looked the before and the after here's how the before and after looked the under skirts made my skirt much fuller i hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video bye